the ride will be at a certain number of seconds through it. Which, which means, does that mean that I have to have a formula for distance and a formula for time? Do those have to be two separate? Look at the colors. There's some beautiful colors in there. Sometimes it's referred to as the reaction coordinate or something. It is the distance along the route taken. Not, not a distance necessarily like x, y, on some x, y plane. But I mean, a roller coaster is a linear thing, ultimately, right? Linear? Ultimately, you go... Oh, time and distance is linear. Yeah, right. I mean, it goes along a fixed route that is described by a... And not a geometric line, but a line, right. you know, a signal. There's no branching, there's no going back along it. I mean, it goes forward the whole way through the whole ride. And so the length is going to be, the total length of the ride is going to be a couple hundred yards, or however long it is. And, you know, there, at, there should be a unique point in distance along that reaction coordinate and time, right? At every time, it will be at a different place. It never stops. What are you recording, Rob? Just your, I'm, your time? I'm a so silent a recorder. I'm but it will distance. End up I'm recording. 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 I'm
Right, that's, that's what I was asking. Although I haven't even been considering acceleration, I don't... Um, oh, so maybe I'm getting ahead. Oh, oh, I, I, I want to interrupt uh, this meeting and thank you for your participation in uh, the um, uh, play of your getting ready an explanation of a complex linear uh, expression by uh, Artemis. Uh, Porthos. Aramis. Aramis. <laughs> I think he's Aramis. Yeah. I remember them well enough. Who's Aramis? He's the musketeer.